So, have you taken passports, small passports? You have small passport, this small size passport. I'm asking that you have small size passport. Yes, sir. I can look for one. No. Yes, sir. I have. There with you. Yes, sir. The small size passport. Yes, this sir. half passport like this. Yes, sir. So when you want to start compiling, don't use that one. Don't use that one that you have. I'm just asking you in the spirit to narrate. The small size passport you have. When you want to start processing your document, don't use it. Take a different one. I'm not talking about this passport. I'm talking about half cut. Yes, sir. Half cut. Picture. Yes, sir. When you want to do, don't use. Quand tu fais tes dossiers, n'utilise pas l'ancien. Take a new one. Huh? Yes, take a new one. If you use the old one, they will not give you the new one. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for locating me. Thank you, Jesus. It's a narrow beachy. Very narrow. So the other passport, the other passport, the passport has a mark of disappointment on it. So I have to touch her head. When I touch her head, when they snap the passport now, the passport will have the head from her, but not the head of that one. Because the head of that one is not her head. You can see what is happening now. So if God does not reveal, I cannot see. Si Dieu ne révèle pas, je ne peux pas voir. The head on that other passport. La tête sur l'autre passeport. Is the head of a human being. La tête d'un être humain. But not her head. Mais pas pour elle. Physically, it is her head. Physiquement, c'est pour elle. Spiritually, it's not her head. Spiritualement, c'est pas pour elle. So the one she will take now. Donc ce qu'elle va prendre maintenant. When she use the half card and leave, they will see but. Elle va utiliser, on verra. This one. Cette. That's why I say it's a narrow victory. Il y a une petite victoire de petite. So we are working on the head. So if you carry somebody's head, you keep moving with the thing that is your head. So you can see the Madam, you are welcome to the New Life Covenant Ministry in Jesus' name. Amen. Please, can you tell us your name, where you're coming from, and the person standing beside you? My name is Mungu Aben Linda. The person next to me is my senior sister, Bibiana Aben Mungu. We are from Tombe. We came to the covenant, New Life Covenant Ministry, and while in the service, I was located with a word of prophecy by the man of God, Apostle Marcel Chatham. So I went in for my passport, and the day I went in for this passport, the photos I took before I could go in for the photo that they will use to produce the passport was completely different. That made me that made me to be scared. These are the photos I took before the, the passport photo. And when I got, got when I got there, this is the one they took. If you can see it well, the faces are different. And while coming to testify, the man of God located me again, still on this same issue, that the face I am carrying, the photo is different. The face on the photo is different. If I have to use the passport, I shouldn't use the old photo. I should use a new photo for the passport. Photo. 
the passport to process the documents, my traveling documents. So I am here to testify the goodness of God and to confirm the word of prophecy. As you can see, I have the passport and the photo in my hand. So I give glory to God. Before obtaining this passport, people of God, I had so many challenges. I went in for this passport and it took five months for me to receive this passport. But when I came in contact with this ministry, requesting for prayers, and they kept praying for me online, encouraging me to keep calm and stay put and look up to trust. And I kept believing that God is going to do it. And one faithful Saturday, I was called there to go collect my passport. And my passport is out. So I give all the glory to God because without Him, I could not have this passport. But today, the passport is in my hand. I am so happy. I give glory to God. And I want to encourage each and everyone going through any other situation, not only a situation of achieving a passport, any or whatever challenge you have in your life, you seek the face of God, believe, trust, and be patient. Because if you are not patient, the glory of God will pass you by. Thank that you, the way, Jesus. I would like to hear from your, your sister. Yes, Mama, you are welcome to the New Life Covenant Ministry in Jesus' name. Amen. So just introduce your, yourself, your name, and where you are coming from. I am called Aben Mundu Diviana. I stay here in Tiko. Who is the person standing beside you? She's my junior sister. So in the course of the service today, the man of God, Apostle Nasser Chatim, gave my sister a word of prophecy. So what can you say concerning that prophecy? Well, as concerning the prophecy, you know, in the presence of God, there is liberty and there is hope. There is no need to doubt when you are in the presence of God. So, as we came here, I myself, I was so surprised. When I was praying, I was praying and believing God to do something in our life. I just heard her voice, sister, sister, come, sister, sister, come. And immediately, I followed her. So, when we came out, just received the prophecy of the man of God. I myself, I was so shocked and surprised. Wow. So, do you believe that this book of prophecy has brought, brought an end to every common community? Yes, I believe. Amen. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for watching Nowcom TV. Right now, are you grateful for what God has done in your life? Go now to www.nowcomtv.org and share your testimony with us.